Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Vault Football. My name is Rodrigo and today we're going to be doing a Nike and Adidas boot tier list of 2020. So uh, <laughs> let's get right into the video. Um, yeah guys, if you really enjoy these videos, give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below what your thoughts are and also hit that subscribe button. Hit it right now. It's right there. Boom. Boom. Hit that shit. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I won't lie if I uh, didn't get this inspiration of KSA. KSI. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't think anyone's done this on uh, Nike and Adidas boots of this year. Let me know in the comment section if anyone has done this. But um, yeah, we're going to get into the boots right now. Pretty much, if I'm going to go into a store and lit, like rate these boots from God to trash, um, then this is what the process will be. So if I'm going into the boot, into the store, I'm like, yo, nah, hands down, this boot's God tier. And I'm going to be rating everything about the boot, the look of the boot like uh, what it's made of and everything about the boot and how it feels obviously I haven't worn every single boot but uh, we'll just see my first impressions okay my first impressions I have the sights up up here in the corner um, with the Nike sights and Adidas sights let's just get right into the video okay we're gonna start off with the Cobra 20 pluses so if I'm gonna walk into a store and I'm walking in and I'm looking at these Cobras you know I like leather boots so these are the Cobra 20 pluses the firm ground boots um, yeah, they look kind of cool, you know, like, they look kind of clean. It's a red and black colorway. I'm going off first impressions. It looks pretty cool, you know. And it has, I don't think it has laces, does it? Like, I've never worn these boots. Yeah, it doesn't have any laces. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a Spider-Man boot. Like if you if you envision Spider-Man, like, that's what it looks like. They're all leather. I like leather boots. They're, like, mixed with uh, mesh as well. Would I wear them straight out of the box? You know what? I've never worn these. But because they're leather, I'm, I'm, I might consider them. So pretty much the tier list goes by God, Keeper. Like you're going to keep the boots. You're going to consider it or it's all right. And then it's just trash. So these, I consider these. All right, guys. So next is the Nemesis. So let's go pop up onto the Nemesis. So 19 pluses. Uh, I have tested these or I have worn them in a soccer shop. I haven't bought them, but we're going to go off first impressions. Okay. I like the colorway here. Uh, these ones do not have laces either. I remember testing them out. If you don't get the right size, um, obviously they're going to be like too big or too small and they might be too tight. Um, and the way that wraps on top of your foot, I like. Uh, but the only issue is like once you start to wear them in, is are they just going to start sliding and stuff like that inside the boot? And they are 245 bucks, which is a hefty price. And you got to take that all into consideration. Uh, obviously, the last copers were... A bit cheaper than these. These are like roughly 350. 350, man. 350 for the Nevers is, bro. That that's a lot of money. You can buy a bloody, you can buy you can buy a pre-owned Xbox with that. Come on, a pre-owned PS4 with that money. You know what I'm saying? So you know with these Nemesis, the price range. Uh, you know what? They look pretty clean too. So these guys just gonna be these gonna be alright, alright because the price is too high. The price is way too high. Come on, three fifty for. You know what? I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna consider it because these do look clean. So <laughs> they look they look clean. They have laces. All right. So the next boot is the Predator Mutator Mutator twenty point one firm ground boots. All right. So these are coming in at two hundred and eighty bucks. All right, a little bit cheaper. You know what? Like what Adidas did with the the Predators is pretty sick. I like the way that they have the little rubber. What could you call them? Spikes. Um, on the boot, I've never like bought them or worn them and played in them at all. Like, our first impressions look pretty cool, uh, just because of the, like the rubber tips. Um, and I wonder if like that does anything to the actual ball if you like juggling, if you want to spin the ball. I know, I know, like the Predator line has always been like that with rubberized things on top of the boot to give the ball a bit of extra spin or you know change the effect on it. I do like low cut boots. High cup boots I don't fancy too much. But yeah, look at that! Look at them rubber tips, bro. I'm sure, but like, they're all right. All right, next is the Predators. The, I call these the Spider-Man boots because they look like Spider-Man boots. Predator 20 pluses. Boom! Tell me no. Tell me that that's not in a Spider-Man movie. Come on. Like you, you have these. These, these look fucking sick. I reckon these look dope. I don't know if it's like the dynamic fit collar on that thing, and look how aggressive like the back. Like, look at the back, bro. What the heck? You could be wearing a Spider-Man suit and put these on, no one would notice. 
Like the the red and blue colorway, I like it. Spider Man vibes. These look so sick. Like look how look how much like rubberized texture this has. The tips go all the way into the side of the boot. If I had to, I, I would buy them right now. The sole plate's nice. It's got um, some conical half conical studs, as well as like it goes into a bladed shape. So I, I reckon they look sick. No wonder those are sold out. These look Spider. <laughs> I just get Spider Man boot vibes. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. The 20 pluses, bro. You on god level. <laughs> you on god level. She. <laughs> Alright, guys. So I'm gonna put them on god level. They have to be on god. Like god level. Like you would wear these boots on the freaking on the field. Go into a match, bro. You're Spider Man right there. You'll be flying. You'll be doing some web slinging goals, bro. Like another level. Another level. Like if you had those and you wore those, everyone in the locker room would be like, bro. Those are the sickest boots. Like I would be. I'd. I'd uh, that's why I would wear them. It would be the sickest, sickest cunt on the fucking pitch, bro. <laughs> Alright, so, they're, they're god level to me. They're god level, bro. Alright, next is, uh, these are the X's. X19 pluses, I think. So, we're gonna go to the Adidas website. Shout out Adidas. Send me some boots, for sure. Like, send me some free boots. Come on. Like, I'm doing a video on your boots. Alright, guys. So, we're doing the X19 pluses. I know they have different colorways of these boots. They have, like, I think they came out of pink, uh, blue. They, obviously, they have a pretty cool colorway here: black, um, gold, and blue. I actually like the pink ones. They, they stand out pretty much. I like flashy boots that like stand out a lot um, because they just look cool on the pitch. So it seems like this is like a really soft synthetic upper. See, the other ones were mesh. Um, one of the Predators uh, with some uh, coating, I think it was. Uh, but these look pretty cool as well. I actually did wear these. Um, I didn't buy them though, but I did wear them in a shop. And uh, the only thing that I didn't like was like the back of the heel bit. Like when I was walking in them, like it felt really uncomfortable when I was like trying to change positions and stuff like that. Like this little tail end here started like digging up into my um, Achilles heel, which is not like very comfortable at all. Um, when I like shop for boots, I look for like comfort first then the look of the boot and then the color of the boot and just like the stud plate and everything about it um, so on first impressions of wearing these I didn't like that, that back um, heel bit you may be able to see it from one of these pictures no they didn't do it they didn't do it the stud plate uh, I think is a bit different it's got some triangular studs which is good for turnings the stud pattern obviously at the back you got some conical studs there so it's good for like turning as well the actual synthetic is really soft i did like it a lot when you actually put on the boots and you get the right size it's pretty snug uh, but apart from the heel like the little like bit at the back uh, i reckon these are pretty comfortable they look like pretty clean without any laces now we're going to go back to the tears right now if you get the right like size boot and everything and it feels comfortable and that heel bit at the back does not annoy you I reckon it's a keeper in my opinion besides the heel bit I'm gonna put it as a keeper because these boots are just clean comfortable and um, really really light like with any other of these boots like these boots are pretty pretty light um, I remember back in the day the other model models from like 2015 2016 those were like the lightest boots I remember one boot had 0.99 like of a gram lightest boot ever so um yeah really really good so now we're gonna go on to the nike boots as you can see here the adidas boots none of them have reached the trash <laughs> the trash area obviously we'll see with nike i'm a lot more familiar with nike boots um if i'm being honest um but hopefully once i start to buy more adidas boots i'll get more familiar with the line yeah i'll be able to make one of these later on and and probably rate it a bit differently so so these are nike mercure vapor 13 Elites, uh, these are normally 290 bucks on the Nike website. Uh, obviously, I actually didn't look at the um, prices on the other boots. We're just going off first impressions, pretty much. Um, I do like the colorway on these. These have different colorways, obviously. The blue and the white was the first colorway, I think it was. And then they have the black pack as well, um, which is pretty cool by Nike. Uh, what is going on here with this lady? <laughs> She's just jumping around. <laughs> All right, we're going to scroll down. Anyways, uh, so for this uh, sole plate, it's actually got some bladed studs, so if you're an attacking player and if you run down the line and you don't do too many movements of rotation like a midfielder would, like turning like that, then these are a good fit for you. Um, off my first impressions, I actually do like the Nike Mercurials. I have a Vapor 12 um, right now at home. I did a review on that, so that's on my channel if you guys want to see it. 
Um, those are actually pretty nice, but the only like annoying thing was like the braking process was pretty annoying. I remember wearing them for like the first week. I like broke them in like how you normally would, like you would wear them for a couple of days and then you just like slowly train into them. I did that, but like after a while, my like heels started rubbing onto the back of the the heel counter and I started getting like blisters and stuff like that. Um, and then after it went away, but like still, you can feel the pressure on my left boot. But anyways, these boots look clean. They're really light as well, like these are light boots. But anyways, if I was in a store, I would definitely get the Vapors. They look so cool. Most of the kids go for the Vapors now these days. And uh, obviously, Cristiano Ronaldo wears the Vapors as well. Same with Neymar. So if I'm going to go into a shop, I would keep these. Um, definitely, I would keep the Vapors there. They're a really good boot. Um, really light. The only bad thing about it is someone steps on you, on your foot. You're, you're just, you're, you're, you're fucked. <laughs> you're so fucked. I was playing one game, the Vapors. Some guy like stood on my foot, boom, I was just out like, I thought my foot was broken, so that's the only downside about these boots. Alright guys, so now we're on the Fenton Venoms over here. So these are a cool 290 bucks. They went down on the website to 205 probably because of the Corona. Probably not, who knows. <laughs> Anyways, um, I've, I haven't worn Fenton Venoms. Uh, obviously uh, they, have, they don't have the dynamic fit collar from the Phantom uh, Visions. If I'm going off first impression, they look ugly. <laughs> they look so ugly, like, I don't like the look of them. There's just too much going on. I mean, with the other colorways, I think this like black and white one looks pretty cool. Um, if it load up, this looks pretty pretty clean. I remember the T90s back in the day, they had like the 90 circle uh, and it had like a strike zone on it. Those are pretty cool. I remember having those uh, back in the day. I had like a black and yellow colorway. We're gonna be looking at this Soul plate here. Obviously, these guys got um, some bladed studs as well, but they're a bit different to the other uh, Mercurial Vapors. All right, so these guys got ACC or condition control, like any other high-end Nike boot. Um, the tongue on these are pretty. The mesh as well, uh, and these have like a rubberized grip on the sides, as you can see there. Um, this guy is just showing you. If I were to consider these boots as buying these for 290 bucks, I'd go with the Mercurial Vapors because. I just don't like the look of these boots and um, the stud pattern isn't the same but it still has bladed studs so it does the same function um, as the Mercurials and uh, I think these are a bit just just a bit too much going on so uh, if we go back to the tier list you know what one boot has to go there and this is this one <laughs> yeah you trash bro if it was me I was walking into this store bro I'll put these as trash because I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't even look at them I'll be like yeah they're ugly Yo, we're going in trash. I'm sorry to all the Phantom Venom <laughs> to the people, but um, yeah, they're trash. All right, all right, guys. So we're gonna go to the Nike Mercurial Superfly Seven Elite. Um, obviously, these are pretty much like the Vapors. Um, now that they just put a dynamic fit collar on them, uh, <clears throat> I actually did wear these. I wore the Superfly Sixes uh, and these ones as well. The only thing that these have is the dynamic fit collar. And I actually didn't like it. I didn't like the way like I have to put my foot in the in the boot. It's a lot harder to put on. They have the same, um, <clears throat> they have the same like sole plate stud pattern. They are a very light boot, but as I said, I just didn't like to, the dynamic fit collar. And because of that, I'm gonna put these as uh, all right. Whoops, I did. Yeah, those ones. But I put those as all right. I just didn't like the dynamic fit collar on those. And that's that. Alright guys, so the next one is the Phantom Vision Elite. Um, these also have the dynamic fit collar. <clears throat> the reason I don't like it because it's so hard to put your foot in the boot, especially when like your foot is actually warm or sweaty. Uh, and if you try to take it out and put it back in in a match, it's so hard to put on. It's just annoying. It's, it, it's impractical. But it does look cool. But like that's, I just didn't, didn't like it. Uh, personally, I'm going to look at the stud plate here. These have a half cylindrical uh, stud plate. Um, obviously, they have different stud pattern. Like the stud pattern has different conical studs. It has some bladed studs there, and this has this little shape here uh, with the conical studs. I mean, the bladed studs, uh, which changes direction on your toe. All in all, I think these look okay. They're not like ugly as, uh, but these, uh, I just don't know. Like. These have like the synthetic aspect and also the mesh aspect combined and obviously these do uh, not, I think these do have laces, sorry. I just think the way that this boot is with the laces underneath the actual mesh sleeve, I think it's just too impractical and if I was to buy it, I would, I would get pretty annoyed on trying to wear these. 
and these are coming at 330 bucks without any um, <clears throat> takedown price uh, if you want to buy these these are 194 bucks but if it's 330 full price yeah I would not buy these uh, <laughs> I'm sorry but like could get a better boot with those so you know I'm not gonna be as harsh I'm just gonna be alright these are right. they're not the best they are alright so the next one the last one is my favorite boot out of the Nike line these are the Nike Tampa Legend 8 Elites. I've made a video on these. Go check it out, guys. Uh, if you want to buy these, I highly recommend these boots out of a whole Nike line. If you guys have white feet, um, these are the best for you. Um, if you do like Nikes and you don't want to go to Adidas, uh, go to Nike Adidas. Wait. Go to the Nike Tempo uh, Legend 8. These are the best leather boots, um, in my opinion. Um, I haven't worn the Copas with the Adidas ones. But with the Nike line, these are the best ones. Like, these are comfortable. They like don't take too much to break in. Uh, the stud plate is actually good because it has conical studs and a bit of bladed studs at the back and the front here, so you can move around if you're a midfielder or whatever. Uh, obviously, those are just marketing things. But this is the softest, softest leather I've worn. Also, the mesh tongue actually locks your foot down as well, pretty nicely. This is just an old classic boot. Obviously, the laces that makes you feel like it's an actual normal boot, not a dynamic fit collar that doesn't have a laces at all. Um, and I highly recommend these. These are the best boots I've ever worn, and they're so comfortable. And just striking in these are so cool. And they also have like a dynamic uh, diamond pattern on them. So um, yeah, I highly recommend these. The, you know you know where these guys are gonna go these are guys gonna go god tier level best boot all around by Nike yeah as I said if you have like wide feet go with these Nike Tempo Legend 8s so yeah guys this is my tier list hope you guys did enjoy that hopefully guys it was entertaining let me know if you want me to make another video about these with some low end model boots so yeah if you guys did enjoy that please give this video a big thumbs up comment down below your thoughts and also subscribe hit that subscribe button down below i want to try and upload every single day uh until next sunday and that's about it guys i'll see you guys in the next one and adios peace